Hi, today my colleague uh, Marcus and I will uh, talk about the importance of briefings and uh, MCC. It's also a good idea to brief yourself even if you're flying solo. So we hope you like it. So here we are at the apron at Salzburg. We have just finished boarding and uh, we have got our clearance from A to C. So now is the time for uh, the departure briefing and safety briefing. So first we shall look at the NOTAMs. We can do this before uh, in the briefing room, but we, this is how the NOTAMs look like and uh, we have nothing to worry about today. The weather today is, uh, we have cloud base at 2000 feet of cloud ceiling. The wind is uh, northerly, northerly with seven uh, knots. The runway okay. is dry. And we have, uh, it's actually working now, so this has been fixed since last time. So we have no issues with the plane. We can uh, check the seed chart. So we have seed chart runway 15 for Salzburg, 30 1, 17th of October 2012. Transition altitude today is 6,000 feet, aerodrome elevation is 1,411 uh, feet. So, do you uh, want to read the procedure because you will be flying? All right, so after takeoff at DME2, we will turn left to heading 350. And after we have reached the minimum 2,800 feet, we will turn left to Salzburg. Okay. And warnings, adjust the speed as to remain within the area for uh, visual maneuvering and do not enter the hang para and uh, glider area, which we can see right here. Yeah. Com for communications, when advised by tower, contact Salzburg approach radio 123.725. For speed, maximum 250 knots below flight level 100 and do not accelerate before turn is completed and not below 2500. Minimum climb gradient, climb with max gradient until passing 2500. Okay, that's no problem for us. Yes. An altitude restriction, climb to 6000 feet. Okay, so 6000 is set down the MCP. And the minimum sector altitude. Today it's uh, 11,000 feet for us. And the minimum sector altitude in the north is, uh, we have 4,000, and in the south, uh, 11,000 feet. Yes. Okay. So for the taxi, we will depart runway 15, so we will taxi out on Lima to Holding Point Bravo uh, runway 15. All right. Okay, for the takeoff, this will be a right seat takeoff. So, um, you have, I suggest, LNAV at 400 and VNAV at uh, 1000. All right. So uh, it will be flaps five. Fleets will be on. Out to take a step to RTO, of course, and um, the runway is dry. Uh, safety briefing. Up to 80 knots, we will reject for any light or failure. Between 80 knots and V1, we will only reject for engine fire, engine failure, predictive wind shear warning, or if the airplane is unsafe or unable to fly. All right. And if we have to stop on the runway, I will call my controls, retard the throttles, full reverse, you will confirm auto brakes and speed brake up. And uh, if you can uh, contact the ATC, uh, when we have stopped. Okay. And after V1, we will continue into the air. No actions below 400, aside from silence the bells. And uh, above 400, we will deal with the problem. All right. Okay, so do you have any questions or suggestions? No, it's all clear. Okay. So we should be ready with the briefing, yeah. So now we will uh, start the engines and, and taxi out to the runway. Okay, so we have been cleared to start the engines. 
All start right. sequence will be two down one. So I'm starting number two. And check the M2. When it gets to uh, 22 percent, we will turn on fuel flow. Fuel flow on and timing. All right. Timing set. We have N1, EGT, oil pressure. Cut out, starting number one. You can reset your clock. All right. You just press it twice. Waiting for 22%. And uh, fuel flow on and timing. Timing set. So I think it's a difference between the NG and the classic. In the NG, 25% is recommended. But we're slowly learning the classic. Yep. And we have all the pressure. And, uh, everything looks good. Cut out. Okay, so off the start procedure. Yes, everything is on. Battery and uh, generator one, generator two. Generators on the bus, the lights will flash. Wind the wind is on, go static on. Engine anti ice. Uh, it's not required because we have a uh, total air temperature is 17 degrees. Alright. It's okay. Ele uh, hydraulic pumps, engine driven pumps, and electric pumps on. This is good. Third fan. Max auto, oscillation valve auto, right back auto, and it is on a few bit off. And we can start the switches continuous and we can turn off a few. RTO and uh, flaps five. We should do this before uh, the first thing we do in the off the start checklist, we should okay. put flaps five and then do the overhead check. Okay, take off checklist. All right, flaps. Flaps five green light. Stabilizer trim. C five units. Cabin notified. Transponder. Transponder. We will uh, wait until uh, we line up. Weather radar. Uh, we don't need it. Checklist completed. And uh, let's do the takeoff briefing. All right. So after takeoff at 2 DME, we will turn left to heading 350. And after we have reached the minimum 2,800 feet, we can turn left to the Salzburg. And uh, at 400 feet, uh, LNAV and uh, at 1,000 feet, VNAV. Okay. That's about it. So when we line up, I will give the controls to you. All right. And uh, we go from there.
remember the, the procedure. Yes. Uh, so 40% toga, you say setting thrust. Yep. Then you release, you can hold your stick and push it forward. And then I will call the, do the call outs. Okay, you can start, we can start from here. Okay, runway entry procedure. We have transponder, T-A-R-A. On the lights. Auto thrust arm. And strobes on. And also, this, the flight. This is uh, not in the NG. All right. Okay, is this good? You're, you have control? I have control. My radios. So are you ready for the takeoff? I'm ready. Timing. Takeoff. Setting thrust. Press set. Check. Eighty knots. Check. B one rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. Four hundred feet. L nav. L nav. One thousand feet. V nav. V nav. And we will soon turn to the left. Increase the uh, altitude, 10,000 feet. Check. Flaps. I would say right, flaps, flaps up. up. Flaps up. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. APU is off. Up. Engine bleeds on. Check. Tax. Auto. Landing gear up and off. Flaps up. No lights. Altimeter. Standard set. And standard sets. Checklist completed. Here at 10,000. Uh, have you trimmed? Then we can turn on. You can turn on the autopilot B when you when you have trimmed the airplane. All right. 